Hello everybody, in this video I welcome you to Germany, Bavaria, the airfield of Main Bullau and I would like to talk about fixed wing aircraft versus vertical takeoff and landing UAVs. Okay, let's first start to explain the difference. Here you can see a full-scale fixed-wing aircraft, a SLIN 143. Um, and here you can see a multi-rotor system and vertical takeoff and landing UAV with uh, six rotors. And the most advantage of these UAVs is that they can take off vertically and land vertically. Let's compare spec sheets. If we compare the spec sheet between a fixed-wing aircraft and a vertical and landing UAV, it's simple. The fixed wing aircraft has a much longer endurance than we have. But do we need it? No, we don't. First of all, we fly only the area we need to cover with our survey, while a fixed wing has to do multiple turns to cover the area. So we can do the same area, the same survey area, in less time than a fixed wing can do. If we look at the survey area, and let's think about a one kilometer by one kilometer survey area. Um, our copter is just flying the one by one kilometer area and that's done in uh, pretty much uh, 20 minutes. So the fixed wing aircraft can't stop at the end of the direct angle, at the end of the area. It has to leave the area and fly a long way around to turn around and come for the next run. And this extra flight time to turn around from one side to another for the parallel runs, that makes, that's the reason why a fixed wing really needs a big endurance to even cover the same area as we can do. I already explained that uh, our UAV is taking off and landing vertically and um, all fixed wing aircraft need uh, open space to take off or they need a catapult. The only way for an easy land of a fixed wing aircraft is a parachute system. But um, to be honest, I would not trust in a parachute if I have a $20,000 camera in, on board of my system. These guys, <laughs> they trust in parachutes. Finally, there's one question. What is your application or what is your customer's application? If you have to cover an area of, let's say, 50 hectare, 100 hectare or 200 hectare, we can do it with the XR6. If your area is 2,000 hectare, 5,000 hectare or even bigger, I go and use my aircraft.